Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the last video I showed some work on how to use saturation masking. In this one I'm going to extend it, showing some more formulae, in other words, more variations that you can use. And also in this one I'm going to use blending rather than converting to a mask, but you can always, of course, do that. So, just an example. I'm going to show what you can do, and I'll come back to this later. So there we go, in one click here, I'm going from the basic picture to one in which, notice there's sculpting here, there's more curvature put in by the change in the, in the grading there. And also notice under the tyre here, there is more detail in the darker areas, in the shadows. So going from that original to this one, which has got a lot more contrast and shape in it. So let's start off. Just a quick reminder, if you take one pixel, then you can have red, green and blue at different levels. One's going to be the maximum, the other's going to be the minimum. And the maximum minus the minimum gives this gap here, which is a measure of the saturation. And that is a, the fundamental element of the way that we calculate this. And don't worry if you're not into calculations, you can sort of like skim past that because I'm going to give you a free macro at the end that you can just do it automatically with. So, we're going to start off with this. So here we've got, just to show what's happening here, the top one is a spectrum going from saturated red to white. Next is saturated red to black and then from desaturation going from red down to grey. And if I take this one here and I apply this maximum minus minimum formula to it, it makes a scale down here. So whenever I'm going to apply this, I'm going to get the red to white, red to black and red to grey, whatever colour this is, it's going to be uniform. So let's have a look at that on a picture. And so if I take this and put in the first one here, this is the picture I get from that. And I can then do things with it in blending. So I'm just going to go down here. You can experiment with any of these. I'm going to go to linear light, which is really showing something interesting. Often you need to turn down to around about 50% here. And notice now this is like, like a metallic colour. And it's changed the picture quite significantly and quite easily. So let's go to the next one. So for this one, I'm going to look at this, and this is just a slightly different calculation, basically dividing this by the maximum value. So the calculation is this. So I've got that calculation applied, and that makes it look like this. So you can see immediately here, it's the same with the red to white, but the red to black has gone white. In other words, those areas which are going more black are all effectively selected because they're white. So that when we look at this on the picture here, it's going to look like this. So in other words, the darker areas there are all selected. So this is why like the areas under here get come out very clearly. And started to look a little almost like an infrared picture. So if I take this then, I'll just put on a blend mode on this. A What if I do a screen on this? Or maybe a multiply. A multiply, that looks interesting, doesn't it? And then I'll turn the down there. And you can see there before and after the way that Darks have got a little bit darker now, but the colours are being pulled out more there. So that gives you that kind of effect. But again, you can do lots of things with this as well. That's just one example. So, third one is... Start again with the red, going to white, to black and to grey. I apply another formula to it. Here, so now I'm dividing this by one minus minimum, as opposed to dividing it by the maximum, which gives it a sort of proportions it out slightly differently. And what happens now 
interestingly, see they picked out the black, it made the factory the colour going to black made that more selected. Now it's doing the same thing to the colours going to the whites. So what this looks like on a picture is this one. So you can see here the way that it is picking out the lighter things more. And if I take that there, I can do a, let's do a blend mode there of, say, lighter colour. And that's an interesting effect here. So in fact, if I pull this down now, so down to about 50%, you can see a pastel effect coming in here. So that's something you can do with that as well. Then let's go to the last one here. And... Now, if I apply a, another formula here, in what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to combine both of these here. So if I want them both to go to white, then the red to white, red to black, both are effectively selected. So pulling out those, but keeping the, the saturation red to grey in, then I simply need to do have this one, the maximum of this one, and this one, which will bring out the whiter areas, which is like this. So if I apply this now on the image here, so onto the next one, and you can see here you've got that detail in the dark areas and the lighter areas as well being pulled out. And now I can do a, apply something like an overlay and bring the opacity down there to around to about, about 50%. And there you can see the effect, but you look at this, it still it hasn't got the effect I had with this one. And the trick is to invert it. So we do Control i and invert it, and there, there's the effect. In fact, with the overlay turned up, it's even stronger, so I need to sort of minimise that there to bring it round to around about halfway. And you can do this with any of these other ones as well. You can invert them. So let's have a look then at the, if I go to filters, sorry, no, go to view, that's better, zoom to studio and to the library. And what it's in is in Dave's Mono Maps 2. I gave away Dave Mono's map, Mono Maps before, but I've added some more in here. So if I go down to here, go down to the 3M, there's the max minus min. Then you've got the black bias one, the white bias, and the combination one. And free, there's an next one which I'll leave you to explore, which is kind of like the, the one we just did, the blacks and whites, but bias to half amount. In fact, with the calculation there, I'm doing an average rather than doing a max. So that's it. Hope that was all very interesting and useful, and thank you very much for watching.